In Spellforce 3, you are playing an RTS and RPG game at the same time. You will have a large army and up to four heroes under your control. The game offers several modes to play in. Campaign covers the main story. Journey mode involves story-light missions with high replay value. Arena offers hero survival gameplay, while Skirmish is the core RTS mode. Whether you are looking for a single player, co-op or PvP experience, there is something for everyone. Your heroes work much like you would expect from an action RPG game. Killing enemies grants you a share of XP based on how much damage you did. In Skirmish, your primary source of XP are the neutral mobs and enemy heroes. You still gain XP from regular enemies though. Whenever you level up, you will gain ability points and in the campaign, also attribute points. Each hero has multiple skill trees, two in Skirmish and up to four in campaign. You may also equip heroes with armor, weapons, rings, trinkets, shields, amulets, and helmets. Consumables, such as potions or magic scrolls, are also available. Some of these may be dropped by defeated enemies. Others can only be bought from merchants. When heroes die, they will be revived at Godstones. While this can happen infinitely in skirmish, in campaign, you have a limited number of charges. Godstones also allow your units to teleport between linked pairs. In order to field an army, you will need to build bases in sectors. Conquer a sector by building a flag in its center and upgrade it. After this, you can build your own buildings in the area. All factions base their economies on five different resources. Gather these by building resource buildings close to the matching resource type. Each sector will offer a limited amount of workers to operate your building. They will be automatically trained at no cost. To gain access to more workers, upgrade your sectors. Choose wisely about what resources you prioritize in which sector, especially considering that not all sectors will have all resource types in them. The workers will gather the raw resource and take what they can carry back to the resource building for processing. A carrier worker from the sector center will then pick up the processed resource and take it back to your sector center or any other building that is currently waiting for that resource. While workers can't be given direct orders, you can recall them to safety by ringing the bell in any resource building. You can also assign how many workers should be working in each building.